Tens of millions of viewers tuned into the Netflix docuseries Tiger King, but there is so much more drama when it comes to wildlife tracking. Starting later today, high school students will have the opportunity to learn more about wildlife poaching, profits, and Tiger Kings with the San Diego Diplomacy Council. Joining me now are San Diego Diplomacy Council Executive Director Fabian Perloff and Lions, Tigers, and Bears founder and director Bobby Brink. Thanks so much for being here, ladies. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Fabian, let's start with you. What is this virtual high school course all about? This course is part of our Global Leadership Youth Program that we run in partnership with La Jolla Country Day School. It is an after-school program that is available to all high school students in San Diego that are passionate about wildlife protection and international affairs. Um, the students will explore solutions to the current wildlife crisis. They will go through a diplomacy simulation. They will learn how to negotiate solutions and then we'll hear from experts like Bobby Brink, um, who are in San Diego, and international experts. Yeah, let's touch base with Bobby. Uh, you're the director of Lions, Tigers, and Bears there. Uh, for those not familiar, you know, tell us about, about your organization and then uh, some of the friends you have behind us there, Bobby. So this is Crystal behind me, and Lions, Tigers, and Bears is here in Alpine, California. We're one of the top 10 sanctuaries uh, in the country. We're fully accredited, as much accreditation as a sanctuary can have. And what we do is we rescue uh, captive and some uh, what they call nuisance animals uh, from abuse, abandonment. Some are compensated. We provide a lifetime home, and we're an education center. What are you going to be talking to these students about? I mean, I know they're going to be very excited to see these animals. Well, a lot about wildlife trafficking, because there's just a huge threat, you know, to wildlife trafficking, you know, globally, and just, it's just destroying decades of conservation, as well as how they can help animals in captivity, you know, and one of the most important things is to only frequent accredited facilities, because a lot of the roadside facilities are the cause of the problem. So mostly about wildlife trafficking, captive animals, and then if they would like to get involved with animals as a career the right way to do it and how they can do it hey bobby i know you're going to be doing a virtual site you've got a big uh, you've got a big place there <laughs> how, how is this right. how, how is this all going to work <laughs> well we'll just have to walk around and see which animals like crystal came right up this morning and sure. laid down when she saw me come out so we'll just have to see you know who cooperates it is a sanctuary so they're allowed to do whatever they want and we'll be able to get quite a few animals and tell them their story and how they came to lions, tigers, and bears, and you know, just just about the trade itself. Gotcha. And, and Fabian, you know, what type of students are planning on attending this? This obviously would be uh, pretty good on a resume or a college application, right? Absolutely. So we have students from all corners of San Diego who are animal lovers, wildlife um, uh, protection activists. Um, students who are interested in international affairs. Um, I, I think, indeed, it's a great way to build your resume for college application. It's a great way to connect with professional experts like Bobby. Um, and it's, a, it's another way to, um, to, to get more engaged civically as well. We know that wildlife trafficking is a big challenge globally. Um, and we need the next generation of leaders to know how to solve those issues. Bobby does great work there. And sh she's a show stealer, that's for sure, with her wonderful, wonderful animals. But besides Bobby, who else uh, would the students potentially be hearing from? So there will be... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, um, there will be hearing from Mike Veal, who is a, the founder of the Global Conservation Force. He's an anti-poaching... Uh, a former anti-poaching ranger who worked in South Africa, who worked at the San Diego Zoo. Uh, we'll also hear from Mo Hamada, who is often called the Turtle Whisper. Um, she's a wildlife activist from Egypt and visited San Diego through the San Diego Diplomacy Council exchange programs um, two years ago. So we'll have um, different speakers interacting with the students. Bobby, I mean, you have a tiger on, on site there that was a, actually a victim of wildlife trafficking, I understand. I mean, can you tell us a little bit more about that animal's story? Right. We have Mocha. So he was um, 
coming over the border on the floorboard of somebody's car when he was compensa compensated at the border. He was taken to the zoo to get medical care, and, and then he lives here with uh, Nola now. He'll live out his life here at Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Wow, that's great. Um, you know, I know there's been a lot of talk about the Big Cat Public Safety Act. Um, are you going to be talking to the students about this, and can you, can you give us a little background on that? Oh, we will for sure be covering that. I've been working on that since the 90s. Um, we failed, uh, I think, four or five times now, but I really get the feeling that we're going to finally get it through this year. And what it does is it protects big cats in captivity. It helps stop the unnecessary breeding, and it actually makes pet ownership illegal of the lions and the tigers. What, what advice do you have for the high schoolers that are going to be tuning in that want to get involved with animal, uh, animal, cares, uh, animal care profession for their career? So for here at Lions, Tigers, and Bears, they can come out and volunteer, and they can also do their internships here. And uh, Fabian, this is all happening here uh, today, right? Tell us about the registration and all the details we need to know. Exactly. Registration closes at 1 p.m. today. So if you are interested, please check our website at www.sandiegodiplomacy.org. It's also on our social media. The course will run today, Thursday, and then next week, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, please check it out. And we have a few sponsorships available for students who really want to take the course but cannot afford it. So please check our website and contact us as soon as possible. Fabian, Bobby, thanks so much for your time here this morning. And Bobby, say hi to all the animals on behalf of uh, right. News 8 Thank here. you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. you both.